Mastering Sword as well. He even played Nyx and placed extremely well, showing he had a set of blasters too. I mean, he is. If there was ever a rule about Brawlhalla and how it should be played, Sting, uh, Sandstorm has been the exception. He's proven time and time again he is the exception to any rule in Brawlhalla. And there you're seeing the head to head coming in power ranked three versus power ranked six. Sandstorm versus Stingray. We're going to get right on into the grand finals. Of course, Stingray going to start it off with the Taros and Sandstorm on the Jay Young. That's crazy, though, that Stingray is PR6. He doesn't have quite the career that Sandstorm had in the beginning, but give him some more time, and I think it's possible. Even though Sandstorm's kind of like a once-in-a-lifetime player for Brawlhalla, Stingray coming in PR6 in uh, very early on in his career, I think that's huge. Yeah, I mean, this is this is the first year we've seen Stingray, and he burst onto the scene. Didn't have as amazing of showings after that first uh, tournament, but still, he's been doing incredibly well for himself. Uh, coming here, guaranteed at least top two finish in the Mammoth Cup, the final PR tournament before the World Championship, but he's got to run into Sandstorm on the Death Jester. Jay Yun already has Stingray in the red. So, like, going into this tournament, uh, PR is not the end-all, be-all for your seed. The seed is going to base more on what you recently placed, whereas PR is going to reward consistency. So even though he's not winning tournaments every other week, the fact that he is PR6 in North America shows he is consistent. You look at some of the other players that are around him. Sandstorm, long-time player. Boomy, long-time player. Oh, but Sandstorm gets the KO right like that. Just over a minute 10 into the game. But you look at like Faison, longtime player, Santi, longtime player, Lil Cap, Wrench, Remy, longtime players here. Stingray is kind of like the new kid on the block. Even though he's been around a year, he's kind of the new kid on the block. Okay, definitely uh, not as much tournament experience as Sandstorm hitting the side air. Stingray is gone. One stock left for Stingray here in game number one, but Stingray already showing his, his potential to be a household name. I feel like that's the point uh, that we're trying to make. Nice big down sig though. Put Sandstorm off stage, but Sandstorm still able to retain this great sword. You look at recent placements of Stingray coming in third at Autumn Championships, fifth at low tier, third summer 2020. And you go back into the beginning of the year. Oh, he's playing really well then too. Uh, World Championship 2020, sorry. second place. He just but got it's three like he stock. can't <laughs> handle. <laughs> yeah, he just can't handle it. It's Sandstorm, man. Like Stingray again has had an amazing year, but he's running into the biggest brick wall of all. Sandstorm looking absolutely monstrous. A fantastic gravity cancel down Zigri. Like that's what everyone who has ever just even touched Jay Yun wants to do is hit that offstage gravity cancel down signature and Sandstorm did it in the grand finals of the Mammoth Cup. That's already game one down. Stingray not in a great spot now having to go into game two swapping over to the Ragnir going into the deck stance taking out a movement speed man for movement speed is not a lot. Yeah that um it's like just under what most players consider the the okay amount, right? Like most people are like, all right, five, that's the minimum that uh, that is required for me to play a legend. But Stingray is showing that he's kind of okay with it. You talked a little bit earlier uh, about some of the character picks Stingray's had. He's, he's had the Queen Nye. So I guess he's kind of used to having less than stellar movement speed. Yo, where's that axe from? Uh, that axe is hot. That's the new one. That's the Rick Grimes axe from the Walking Dead crossover. Dude, that axe is hard. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine most of the axes are, are quite rigid, uh, have some All right. stiffness okay. All right. to them. Okay, hopefully this set ends very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Way to just root against Stingray, man. But right now, game number two, Stingray getting the better of Sandstorm, showing why he's stuck with the axe between the uh, the legend pick, the previous one, that Taros, over to the Ragnar. Again, utilizing these soft platforms, Nice big neutral light, and Sandstorm is Stun. gone. What a strange place for Stingray to get the recovery <laughs> away from Sandstorm after he'd blown so many movement options. Like, from the middle of the stage, like, less than one jump height up, he gets an axe neutral light, and that takes the recovery. Yep. As long as it denies that movement, definitely, uh, 
works out, right? Like it's like if it if it works, it works. Nice side signature from Sandstorm though will even up the stock count. Able to pick up the great sword. And of course, gonna prime the second great sword. Already starting it off with a four piece. Was able to get that turnaround recovery as well to maintain that pressure onto Stingray. Ooh. Big damage comes through. GC Trouble. sidelight. Stingray Trouble. punishes that, hits the re recovery. Oh man, almost grabbed the down air. Likely would have sealed Sandstorm's fate. Nice reset backing up. How did that neutral sig not hit? The Nair saving Whoa. Sandstorm. But Stingray's going right back in. Dodges past the first side light, but Sandstorm was still in the stance, so went for the closer side light immediately. And the third swing neutral closer. And Sandstorm starting to stutter step. Knows that he is one stock away from closing out game number two and putting him in fantastic. Just kidding. A neutral signature from Stingray will even up the stocks. Going back over to the Axe, we haven't seen too much from the Katars on this Ragnar pick, despite Stingray being much more of a Katar player here. His Axe is looking very strong. Sidelight Nair waits, even fades down a little bit before going back up for the side air. Looks like Axe is going to be his best option against Sandstorm's Greatsword. No, but Sandstorm, again, going for these resets. Juggles. Sandstorm in a little bit of trouble getting back down away from all those neutral layers from Stingray, but he eventually found ground and he's starting to play this vertical game. You're seeing him go high and then low. Oh, that time Sandstorm chose to dodge right after the sidelight whiff. Instead of going for one of the options he went for previously. Always changing up what he does. Ooh. Doing it again. Sandstorm going to close out game number two. That's something that we saw earlier on from Sandstorm. It's he'll go for sidelight neutral sig, and then it'll whiff. And then he's like, all right, I'll just do it again. Sidelight neutral signature. And that time it connects. Stingray now on tournament point. Uh, or I guess technically Sandstorm's the one on tournament point. Stingray's on uh, one game from losing. Oh, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, no, um, no, 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 no. <laughs> Oh no. This He's is the vector. pocketiest of picks from Stingray. No carryover to any of the characters he has played today. He is going deep in the bag for this vector pick. Granted, when it comes to uh, raw weapon matchups, Bo and Lance are rumored to have the best matchup against Greatsword, but is that enough? So far, he's going even, but 20 seconds into a game is not very yeah. long, unless you're being oh, no. weapon starved like oh, Faison. No. And it was long enough for a few more seconds to pass, and Sandstorm gets the KO. Sandstorm running away here in the grand final. Stingray got the big missile in hand, playing with this vector, could go airplane mode. But he's yet to really get any hits with this land so far. Granted, he does have the Orion, so I, I guess I rescind my statement earlier. He does have a little bit of a Lance. Yeah, bro, did just play Orion. I would appreciate it if you just played Orion. Oh, no. oh, oh no. man. The bottom side oh, of that no. hitting him. Stingray going down again. He is on tournament stock. Very close to being knocked out here. That is one of the coolest skins in the game. Yo, I'm liking the sunset colors. I like the skin. Stingray's got the look, but right now Sandstorm's got the damage. <laughs> oh my goodness, Stingray. Is, like, how do you even come back from this? You don't. <laughs> you throw out a couple light moves. You're going to take an in sig, maybe no. a D sig. That's uh, one. Don't, just don't play Vector, my guy, unless you're just looking to have some fun here. Sidelight's coming oh, out no. from Sandstorm. Hasn't found the one to hit yet. Sidelight goes for the neutral light. Goes for the neutral light. Opener. Weapon toss coming out. Don't get three stuck. Game three here. Sandstorm was looking for the Nair. Trying to reset here again. <laughs> he grabbed and cancels a down signature on the stage. Oh. He got him with the bridge, but he didn't go for the closer. Sandstorm's got... Oh! Oh! <laughs> what? This is what he did in twos. When he didn't get his combo with Boomy, he's running up. Sandstorm. 
What? Is this what? the if he if he's just going down to his final stock here? Yeah, this is the sandstorm BF. This is the I don't even need the first two stocks to finish this one. Stingray, he's one hit away. A downlight recovery and it's over. And Sandstorm is gonna be the Mammoth Cup champion, and he's gonna do it in style by throwing away two stocks against Stingray. This is grand final. Look how far that look how far that weapon toss oh. him. Oh my gosh, how is that not clear? He's gonna kill with a weapon toss. He's gonna KO with a weapon toss like on stage too. Yo, one recovery. That's all Sandstorm needs. You see him looking for these unarmed recoveries. There it is! Sandstorm is gonna be crowned the Mammoth Cup champion, showing his dominance in the region, proving Sparky and I correct that he is the champion of this one. But huge congratulations to Stingray going home with the second place finish unfortunately did get three stocked ish in game number three of the grand finals do you call that a yeah, three that stock is, uh yeah definitely call it a three stock absolutely call it a three stock i don't know like, um, like free for all is... rules what because like if you throw away your stock you lose three points in in free for all so like you're you're denying yeah. them the ability to stop the three stocks. So I, f I feel like there's some and if, some cheating. If you hit the kung football into the goal in kung foot, you get a goal.